So when I pull up on this particular block, one cat comes running under a fence and just runs in the middle of the street after me. Um, so I have to wait at the end of the block and make sure no cars are coming. It's a pretty deserted street uh, because she just comes running out and she's going to get hit by a car one day because I'm there to feed her. So I have to be very careful when I'm going to that block. But um, I didn't catch her the last time she was pregnant. She disappeared on me the night I was going to trap her. And there's another cat that somebody threw out. She's somewhat friendly. I'm going to be able to just pick her up and throw her in a carrier. And we're going to get her home. She's not going to be coming back. So this is where I have to set up the trap over here behind that white car. That white fence over there, that white metal thing, that's where the cat comes running out of. I have to quietly not let her hear me set up the trap. You got one right here. Hi. Hi. Come here, Mama. That's how I do it. I grab them at the back of the neck, grab their feet, and 145 pounds, 10 pounds, guess who's going in the carrier? <laughs> see, they're waiting for me over there. You see this? This is what you call a drop trap. Man made by a dear friend made out of regular wire-coated bathroom shelving. <laughs> Stick in a string. I'm gonna feed these guys over here to keep them away from across the street. This one runs back and forth. They come out of that hole over there. figuring out. Is that the bipolar one? <laughs> Could be. back there by the trucks. Um, I just hope one day she doesn't take a trip. <laughs> mama, mama. Tough life for a mother around here. People don't understand the hard life of a feral cat, never mind a female cat. Um, how they have to keep moving their babies and uh, finding food and just people messing with them and cold and disease and it's just really rough. As heartbreaking as this is, you see how heartbreaking it is, right? These poor animals on the street with no home and 
people chasing them and throwing them out of their homes and kids throwing sticks at them and rocks and people poisoning them. They just have such a hard life. So if we can just come into their lives and make it a little better by feeding them and fixing them, that's what we do.